welcome back home everyone. That was quite a trip. And it seems we have a hero in our midst. I just did what anyone would do. But not just anyone could do that. Not everyone can stay calm in an emergency. You did a great job, Amber. Actually, I have something I need to say. I don't think I can be a flight attendant anymore. It's just, I get so nervous. I'm afraid of getting sick and... It's okay to be scared sometimes. Not when it means I can't do my job. The stakes are just too high for that. We'll be sorry to see you go, Adrian. Well, let's not get hasty now. Adrian, how would you feel about working in security? Well, I hadn't considered that. You're observant and a great people person. And this way, you'll be able to keep both feet on the ground. And what safer place could there be than the safety check? It all works out nicely with Amber getting a new job offer, too. I am? You've proven your ability to cope in an emergency. Amber, would you like to fill our flight attendant vacancy? What? I mean, yes, of course. You earned it. Excellent. Two birds with one stone. I think that'll be all for today. Let's get ready for our next flight. It was the best call. In future, we should discuss these things before we make any promises. Would you mind helping her learn the ropes? You are our top flight attendant, after all. Fine, but only because you asked so nicely. Okay, let's do this. I'm going to be the best flight attendant ever. David, I had the craziest day. Call me when you can. Hey Clark, I wanted to thank you for helping me save that man on the flight. Also, I've got some good news. I got the flight attendant job. Hope I can see you again soon. Okay, listen up everyone. We're headed back to Snugford. Elise, I want you up front in business. Amber, you take the economy aisles. All right. No need to rush, sir. Oh, no. No problem, sir. I'll soon gather them up. Thanks, Amber. You were great. You're welcome. It was great meeting you. This isn't a social gathering, Amber. You're right. Sorry, Karen. Amber, I wanted to give you a ride home. Thanks, David. That's really nice of you. So, tell me everything. How was Tahiti? Did you meet any interesting people? Tahiti was... okay. Just okay? Well, tell me more about your amazing new promotion, then. I still can't believe it. Oh, it's a really crazy story. It all started with this really nice guy who had an allergy. Amber, why isn't the coffee brewing? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize. It takes a lot of power to heat water. We always prepare some beforehand. But won't it get cold? We store the pre-made coffee in thermal containers to retain the heat. I'll get right on it.
Hey, don't let it get to you. I guess I just feel a little unwelcome. Okay, she's gone. Look, Karen's hard on everyone. It's just the way she is. Yeah, but... Really, there's no use worrying about it. Just check with me if you have any questions. Oh, by the way, there's an annoying child on this flight. Be sure to keep an eye on him. Who just leaves half-eaten food lying on the floor? A remarkably large number of people, you'll be delighted to learn. So, Japan, have you ever been here before? I was so caught up in the work, I almost forgot where we were. How about I show you around? Let's go for a walk. It's beautiful here. Hey Pamela, want to join us for a stroll? I was just telling Amber how beautiful Japan is at this time of year. Heck yeah, I'd love to. How about you three? Interested in taking a walk around town? No thanks. Nah, I'm good. I'm meeting an old friend in town. Maybe I'll catch up with you later. Suit yourselves. Sounds like a girl's night out then. Saki and sushi. Here we come. Oh my god, yes. I love those kimonos. I just wish we'd had more time to shop. So many things I wanted to buy. We'll be back. This is a pretty common stop for us. Awesome. Yes. What was the name of that awesome sake? Something like... Hey, that's enough chit-chat. You're all on the clock, so get to it. Did you miss me, Sushi? I went to your homeland. This job is so amazing. I wish I could take you along. Guess I'll just have to bring you plenty of souvenirs instead. I don't think Karen likes me very much. This job is so important to me. I don't want to mess it up. I'll just have to work harder. I got this. Wake up, Sushi. You need to wish me good luck today. I can't believe it. I'm a flight attendant. Finally. So, Amber, where are you off to this time? Berlin. Then we go via Helsinki on the way back. Going to be amazing. Have fun. I'll be thinking of you. Amber, you're late. I have an extra job for you today. We'll be flying over a few interesting places, and I'd like you to announce them for the passengers. Sure thing. Welcome to Finland. Finland has a great food culture and a real culinary identity. Don't hesitate to test the Korva Pusti or the Ruas Lepa. We are now flying over Germany. German cuisine is rich in diversity. You can savor a currywurst, a Franzbrötchen, or a Mautaschen in Stuttgart. Welcome to Italy. Italian food is some of the best in the world, and of course it's best when accompanied by some local wine. And finally, we have Spain. Spanish cuisine has been influenced by many discoveries made during its various conquests. 
from tomatoes and potatoes to vanilla and chocolate. You'll never run out of options here. I know she's going to love this ring. Oh! <clears throat> Morning, Amber. What was that all about? Was that a ring? Well, none of my business. At least I'm not the maddest one here. Nor the only one speaking to myself. Morning, Amber. You're up early. Lots to do. You're awfully early, Amber. I think I beat the sunrise this morning. Trouble sleeping? Karen asked me to come in early and set up the food. What? Why? That's not normal. That's something we usually do together now. A pretty girl like you needs her beauty sleep. Next time, you go ahead and give me a shout. I'll help you. Thanks, Elise. Hey, are you doing anything tonight? I'm going to video chat with my kids. I want to read them a story before bed tonight. How about you, Pam? Interested in getting a drink or something? Nah, ah not tonight. I've got a date. I took a page from your book and started chatting with a few of the passengers. You know, the cute ones, in particular. Hope you're having fun, Amber. Thinking of you. Enjoying your adventure so far? Maybe we could hang out when you get back. I hope we cross paths again soon. Maybe next time, without a health emergency at 30,000 feet. Not my thing. I mean, I take it otherwise. I can see right through you, Kyle. I know what this is really about. It's not about you, Karen. Us. It's about us. There is no us. You've made that clear. I don't want to take the new job offer. I'm comfortable here. I like it. The money and the hours are better. You would have taken it in a heartbeat back when we were together. Exactly. If I were making this decision for us, I'd take it. You're only staying here for me. Just admit it. I think we'll have to enter you into the Fish Olympics, Sushi. Hey, Mom. I miss you too, Mom. It's all been amazing so far. I can't believe I'm finally a flight attendant. Mom? Are you okay? I'm lucky to be here. I know it was tough for you. Yeah, that whole time zone thing is definitely a downside to the lifestyle. I love you too, Mom. Hey! Another whiskey. Sir, the call button's only meant to be used mid-flight, not during takeoff and landing. Do you have any idea how much I paid for this ticket, young lady? I'm sorry, sir, but we've only just taken off. You only have to wait until the captain. More than your annual salary, I'd bet. So if I want another drink... That's enough. Regulations are for your safety, sir. And they're not negotiable. Excuse me? Who do you think? Sir, 
I'll bring you a drink as soon as the seatbelt light goes out, and not a second before. Is that how you think we should treat customers, Ms. Hope? Every customer is different. If they're rude and they're ignoring the rules, we need to be firm. This is a difficult job. Not everyone has the skill set to do it. You need to learn tact and self-control. So this guy was being rude? Yeah, I knew if I acted too politely, he would have just kept going. I know the type. You did the right thing. Karen should see that. She hates me. I just don't get it. You know, you should ask Hank his opinion. He's pretty good at dealing with stuff like this. You worry too much, Karen. Amber's great for this job. She failed the exam. Plus, she has no formal training. We should hire another candidate. Not so fast. You need to give her a real chance. It's only been a few weeks. What if we crash land on water? She couldn't even jump into the pool. It's highly unlikely. Crash landings are rare. Cars may be dangerous death traps, but planes rarely have to ditch. You know that. That's not the point. This job is about handling emergencies, and the tests are in place for a reason. And you know about her past. Sometimes I wonder if you just hired her out of pity. That's enough, Karen. Pity never helped anyone, and it plays no part in my decisions. I know, I'm sorry. It's just with her past. This conversation is over, Karen. My decision is final. Amber stays for now. I'm hopeless, Sushi. They're gonna fire me. I know it. Even you'd be better at my job than me. At least you can swim. You okay, Amber? You're looking a little blue. That's just the uniform. Nice try. You can't fool a mother, you know. Try again. It's just... I really don't think I'm cut out for this job. I don't deserve it. That's not true at all. You're great at this. I always knew you would be. But I failed my test, and Karen thinks I'm unqualified. People like Karen sometimes mistake tests for real life. But a test is just one way of measuring something. We aren't machines. We're more complicated than that. You have character and passion. Is that really enough? I'm not so sure anymore. What matters most is your willingness to learn. I mean, I've made tons of mistakes. Oh yeah? Like what? One time, I accidentally left a meal in the oven and the whole plane smelt like burnt feta cheese. And that's just one mistake among hundreds. It's all just part of being a person. So, Amber, any hot dates coming up? What about that cute doctor? Saving a life together is a pretty good story to tell your kids. Hey, Amber. Flying on your airline tomorrow. Hopefully I'll see you there. Well, speak of the devil. Which good-looking man is that from? You can show off your beautiful flight attendant badge to him. 
if Karen lets me keep it. We believe in you, Amber. You should too. Dr. Clark, I didn't know we had a returning hero on board our flight today. Hey, Pamela. It's nice to see you. Hey, Elise. How are the kids? As exhausting and adorable as ever. It's great to see you again too, Amber. Did you get my text? Congrats again on your new job. I'm so happy for you. Well, it's not like I really deserved it. Of course you did. Most people don't do well in tricky situations. But you did. You'll be great at this. Right. Is that everyone? Wait for me. I'm coming. Phew. I made it. Amber, this isn't a social call. I know, I know. I didn't realize. It's my fault. I surprised her. I just wanted to see Amber Hope in action. Well, prepare to be disappointed. I'm not any good at my job. What? Of course you are. How would you know? Well, this little surprise isn't going quite as I'd hoped. Sorry for the holdup. I'll just take my seat. What the heck was that? You need to calm down, Amber. Yeah, especially when you've got the Bermuda Love Triangle on board here. Oh. Is this normal? Seems like a lot of turbulence. Don't worry. Everything is under control. The sky's looking really dark. Don't worry, ma'am. Our pilots are trained for this. Excuse me, miss. Is everything okay? It's just some turbulence, ma'am. Everything's gonna be all right. Wow, it's wild to see a storm from the inside. Ugh, don't say things like that. Let's reassure the passengers and make sure everyone stays seated. Oh, hey everybody, this is Kyle, your captain speaking. It looks like we're strolling through a little bit of turbulence here, but there's absolutely nothing to worry about. Our flight attendants kindly request that you remain seated and calm. We'll pass through the storm shortly. Kyle, we should have steered clear of this. It's fine. You'll see when you have more experience. Storms aren't such a big deal. Kyle, we should change course. You don't trust me either? Guess I'm not surprised. After what happened in... We need to take manual control. Copy. I'm on it. Okay, we need to keep everyone calm. I need to keep me calm. Purpose will keep you calm. And your purpose is to help the passengers. Amber's right. Let's check with the passengers, make sure everyone's all right. Kyle, it's time to back out. This is too much. He's right, Kyle. Chart us an alternate course. Now. Close call. What the? Kyle, we're falling. It's just some turbulence. Everything will be fine. Amber, 
Could you come here, please? What's going on? Look at the sky. We should have flown around the storm. The right wing and fuselage have been hit. Brace yourself. We need to take our seats. This is getting rough. But, but... She's right. We're no use to anyone if we get hurt. All right, everybody. Please stay seated and remain calm. Our plane has been damaged by lightning and will need to perform an emergency landing on water. You need to help yourself before you can help others, Ms. Hope. Where's your oxygen mask? Prepare for contact in three, two, one. Join us every Saturday night, 8 p.m. Eastern Time, for a new chapter. If you subscribe, you can be notified every time a new chapter is released. So just click on my picture down there. And, as with all creators, we at this channel love feedback. So consider liking or disliking our videos. And leave a comment, because Tiggers just love comments. Ta-ta for now!